Plato's Closet and thrifting this week. So here I am at Plato's. Let's go. All right, we're gonna try Plato's Closet, Uptown Cheapskate, probably Savers as well. So uh, here we go, first store. All right, men's section. Filas, we've been seeing a lot of these at Burlington. Just go down the line. Uh, Penny twos. Red and black, 25 bucks. Kobe's. Kobe 10. These look like kids. 6Y. So Kobe's Air Raids. How much do I want for these? Size 8, $30. Another pair of Kobe's. And 6.5Y. Next row, Adidas, Adidas, Adidas. I don't even know what these three models are how much they want 25 uh hyper dunk pink this one 35 bucks size 10 pretty good shape good hooping shoe i might rub a little bit back here probably my only complaint of the hyper dunks uh oh jordan 6 gatorade size let's see nine and a half man 25 bucks cheap condition go around uh bottom's a little dirty not too bad a little creasing here and there overall I think really good shape, especially for the price, 25. So Jordan 6 pre-owned, style code only $35.70, plus eight shipping, no box or nothing, 10 and a half pre-owned, not bad, 100 pre-owned, another one for 100 pre-owned plus shipping, $80. If this one can get $80, check out the bottoms on this one. Really dirty, didn't get 80 bucks for that, then should be able to get $80 for mine, even says beaters on it, 77 plus, free shipping 125 92 109 and so on 57 results sean kemp all-star reebok size 10 18 dollars next to it gary payton's 10 and a half is the size price 16 dollars probably one of the ugliest colorways i've seen of the gary payton's these new balance olive green 24 7 size 10 35 dollars kamikazes 18 dollars size nine and a half how long have we seen these and ones? Are they going down finally? 50 says clearings. I have no clue. Random Jordan flights. Some beat up LeBrons. Jordan 9 low. Accessories $45. Size 8.5. Jordan 9s alone. Some of them hard to move. Now Jordan 9 low. Used. Almost 50 bucks. Come on now. KDs. $25, size 10 and a half. These have also been here for months. Check out, I don't know what happened here though. Look at this bottom part. It's like this thing came off, exploded, and Plato's Closet still took them. And they want $30 for them. Man, just KD, someone just came in just, ever since he got hurt, someone's like, ah, forget this. All the KD stuff, I'm taking it to Plato's. 40 bucks, KD again. <laughs> These are, well, I think we're in size 13 now. Yeah, size 13, 16 dollars. And right next to it, some fake Griffies. How do I know they're fake? Well, just by looking at them first off, the model, we know it doesn't look anything like this. Second, the 24 does look weird. Spacing right there. This other uh, Nike swoosh. Here, sewing's pretty crappy. The tongue's pretty loose. And most of all, check out that tag. All right, so look at the style code. Look how close they are to that black line. And it's the wrong fonts. And most of all, with a fake, it's like the tag is already like peeling off almost. That's like a dead giveaway. For this one, size 13, they want $30. And unfortunately, they took them. And look at that. It looks looks and feels weak lebron soldiers i remember when these are at burlington they were selling really really good i think this is like the ones that lebron won the finals with the calves in right this color with the gum bottoms and uh 30 dollars size 10 and a half and i think that's it let's take the jordans and uh we'll probably come back another day all right, so going through the shoes, and uh, check this out. They have to be straight from Ross, right? I mean, they look brand new for Savage. They want 20 for them. Someone probably just got them like, hey, you know what? We can't flip these. I'm just going to take them to Savers. I'm just going to donate these. These are size 17, or maybe even Ross themselves just decided to donate them because they're huge. They're not size 11. They are 15, 17. Now they got KDs, pretty beat, and... Man, that's about it. Jerseys, anything in here? I just kind of go by like the trim, if I can find something. Let's see, Colts football fading away, Nebraska. Uh, looks like a Cavs or something. Ah, uh, it is a Cavs. 
Look at that, LeBron size small, $12.99, Nike Swingman. Actually, really good shape, no fading or nothing. Wonder if it's even brand new with tags, no. A LeBron rookie jersey, technically. I was looking at another one. Atlanta, is this Sh Sharif Abdul Rahim? <laughs> And it is Atlanta Hawks, 13 bucks, double XL. For some reason, I think the Raheem jerseys are like the biggest ones I've seen thrifting through the years. Uh, we can look up this, wonder if the uh, rookie jersey is selling good. So we're gonna search just by Swingman and see if any of those come up. So here's one pre-owned XL in white, 25, 28, $50. Remember, these are just posted. Um, not completed listings, $44, $80. This is like one of those things, like once LeBron goes back, he retires. It's like his rookie jersey, that's a kid's. Um, let's see, have they even sold recently? It's kind of hard right now, being with Lakers and all that, but $33 XL. $80, looks like that one's brand new with tags though. 24, slightly used, 24, those, and that's it. All right, so I'm here in the women's, and they have Jordan 3's, $50. And they're a size of seven Y. They have a Epic React, $27.99. They had another one over here too. Uh, Oreo, kind of. A little different backing though. I don't know about the red, and like purplish. Epic React, this is kind of like a worse condition, but $30. Men's section, see if I can go through these. Uh, LeBron's $42.99 in pretty bad shape all around, at least for that price. Check out the Barclays, $50 size 12. It's like a gray and red. Next to it are uh, KDs, $25 size 13. More KDs, $37.99, size 11 and a half, OKC color. <laughs> so the jerseys are kind of random too. Miles Austin, Cowboys. They also had a fake Johnson Cardinals jersey, $23.99. Celtics, another fake, and this one, $15, Nader. Men's jerseys start off here. Austin Red Sox. All we get here, Boston stuff, so I'm not shocked. Um, Red Sox, Russell Athletic. Does it have all the buttons? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, it has all the buttons, and there's no name or nothing on the back. So $4.99, five bucks. We will take this. We gotta leave the hangers. They do not like when you take the hangers. $2.99, this is a fake Adidas. Let's keep going. Banana Republic, Patriots, Boston. Uh, Patriots, 93, 14.99, a Richard Seymour. So, 15 bucks, and then another one, is this Maroney? Maroney, is this Malloy? Malloy, is this, oh, man, they stumped me with this one, 86, Patton. So 15, 15, and 15. That is Knights, Gap, 98, Reading Soccer Club. ACM 29 Kaka jersey 22 nice a little a little beat we can oh man double XL we can research this one and anything else White Sox Majestic oh man it's like a <laughs> I hate these like team local team stuff where you just put in names and numbers and companies and sponsors and just throws it off bike jersey 2005 tour Challenge, that's about it for the jerseys. All right, so Milan jersey, uh, $3.99, $85 pre-owned. Um, I just don't know if like this is a fake or not. I mean, it looks kind of like this one. See, 39, well, it actually doesn't really look like that one. It's because this one doesn't have any other like Adidas um, like patches or logos or nothing. So it just says that, double XL. All right, men's jerseys or tank tops, beast. <laughs> now what is this? It's high school, it's like a lot of these. Uh, keep going, no, no, Jordan tanks, $7.99. Uh, training, $9.99, this one looks brand new. Training XLT, 10 bucks. So tall, that's super long. Uh, $10 Jordan training, I don't know, that one I could probably look up. These are just like totally different material, like undershirts. 
Let's see, Hollister, let's go something, Celtics, a buck, what is this, Sandnit jersey, Sandnit, size 42, design for boss, Sandnit jersey, man, Jojo White, Jojo White jersey, size 10 for a buck, Sandnit jerseys, they don't make them like they used to, <sighs> getting goosebumps, all right, Sandnit. We can see right there, goosebumps on the arm. Man, a dollar. All right, I have no clue how much this is worth. This is big money on this. 40, size 42, designed for Celtics, and a Hall of Famer. Let's see if there's any other, I don't think there's any other tags or nothing in here. This is, all right, you know what? We better go. <laughs> all right, so I'm in line right now. So I'm looking at an auctioneer site. There's none on eBay. I mean, you're not really gonna find like, as many as you want randomly like there's just a bunch of them out there auctioneer website 7778 jojo this one's game used of course um, but it does have both tags so uh sanid and the uh metalist sanid has both of these size 42 which is this one it is a size 42 so that being game used of course tells me that's his size or was his size look at that estimate 750 to 1500 all right we're done only picked up four items uh thrifting and plato's closet so uh plato's closet find were uh, the jordan 6 gatorade and they were 25 dollars and a size nine and a half so gotta clean them up a bit overall i think selling 90 summit like uh, 90 99 and then some at like 109 uh, for them being used, but they're not bad not bad shape savers did pick up the LeBron rookie swingman jersey so Great shape for this one, like no stains, no creasing, wasn't falling apart, no fading, nothing like that. Swingman jersey, $12.99 and a size small. So really gotta be patient with this, like once it goes back to Cleveland down the road or retires or something. But like I said, Mitchell and Ness has done a vintage jersey of this rookie Cavs jersey so it would be good nice little collector's item uh family thrift center with boston red sox there's no name no number um it was five dollars great condition russell athletic uh fully sewn and i'm guessing probably about i paid five i think selling at like 30 to 40 range maybe 30. It's not missing any buttons or anything, so that's also good. That's like the first thing I check for when it's baseball jerseys, because these buttons, they fly off like nothing. Next thing you know, you're missing two or three of them. It's just more of a hassle. And finally, the JoJo White, oh man, Sand Knit Celtics jersey for one dollar. And I did some further research. Looks like all of the game-worn jerseys um, around these years and for the Celtics and in general have um, this second little tag here the actual size 42 which is not common like you know it's like a special size and having this like metal list tag right here game worn at this point I think the best thing to do is probably go to like maybe like a Boston store memorabilia store or something they could look it over or maybe um, one of these auction sites to take a look at it or get it authenticated somehow some way instead of just throwing it on ebay because it is at least from the looks at it maybe like late 70s maybe 76 uh, or 1977 around there <laughs> one hell of a find for a dollar and let's see what i decide to do um maybe if i can do some sort of out hustle trip over there to that side and then go to the boston area and try to see what i could do to get it authenticated i'd rather do something like that but we shall see but a, a monster find for a buck. All right, that's all the finds, Plato's Closet and thrifting. Let me know in the comments what you think about these finds, probably the jersey. If you have any other knowledge about it, anything you wanna throw in uh, into the comments, I'll gladly read them over. Thanks guys for watching this video. I'll see you on the next one. Go out and get it.